You'll start by removing the 11 T30 Torx bolts that are all the way around the case. Let's get the chain case off. Take the return line off. I put it right here. Just put a little tape around the towel, keep it from spilling. And then you're going to want to take off your oil pump. Now, instead of doing it this way, you can siphon out the oil if you want, or if you have an empty tank. I'm just trying to do this to conserve as much oil as I can keep. Once you get the case out, there's going to be some oil down in there. Watch out, because the lid does breathe, so it will spill some oil. Just filled some bottles full. And then I just have the oil pump still hanging over right there. Next thing's next, going to get the chain and the gears out along with the tensioner. Bottom gear is held on by a snap ring. The top gear is held on by a spiral ring. You can get a screwdriver under there, just slowly work it out. Next, once you get the chain and the snap rings off along with the gears, you're going to want to heat up this case with a heat gun and make sure to just heat up the outside. That will expand the case and not the bearing. And then once you get it heating up, you can take two screws and pull that bearing out. Once you do get the bearing out, there is a little black cap that comes inside of here. Just put a screwdriver in there, pop that out. And then one thing to watch out for on this bearing, there is a little retaining ring that holds that in. Now this sleeve is this sleeve right here that's in the instructions. And you'll want to put some Loctite on this spider web right here. Line this up with your shaft and start hammering it in slowly with the dead blow. Some of them are loose, some of them are tight. Once you get it in all the way, take your, it's a, it's a 15 millimeter, and start tightening this up, and then loosen it a little bit, and then tighten it again some more. Now that you've got the bolt tight, you're gonna reheat the case and slide the new sealed bearing into the case. Once you heat the case back up, and get that bearing back in, the new bearing. You're going to take the snap ring that came out of there initially and slip it back in there. Once you get the bearing on, you can slip your top gear on and that bolt is supposed to be torqued to 20 foot pounds. There's supposed to be a washer there. Can't find one in my kit. So I'll just run to the hardware store later. You're going to want to grease the lower bearing and then once you get it all greased up, you're going to take the seal that comes with it and seal that bearing up. So now that you've got the bottom gear packed, you're going to want to put the belt over the top gear and over the bottom shaft. And then you can insert the lower gear and make sure to leave the gears off of it. Get the bottom gear on over the belt. You're going to want to slide on the center hub and then put the snap ring that goes inside, put that on. And then you're going to want to install these bolts that are a quarter inch allen head and you're going to want to torque them to 25 foot pounds. There's a little black piece that goes around here. It's got two holes. So now on the front of the cover you're going to install these two plates. This is going to hold your oil tank and there's going to be these three bolts on each side. And then this is the stop for your oil tank. Make sure to put a little Loctite on those when you're putting them on. Once you get these on, you can start installing them in the cover. There are six bolts. You use the original bolts that you use to take the chain case off. And you can put the cover on. And then this is your tensioner right here. And you're going to want to install that bolt to hold the tensioner. And you want about a quarter inch of play. Next, you can put the oil pump into the new casing. And make sure to put Loctite on the two bolts that are holding the pump into the case. And then you're going to want to attach it to the case and you're going to use the supplied bolts with the two spacers. Short spacer in front of the bolt, long spacer behind it, and that attaches to the case. Next, you're going to want to drill your holes in the top and the bottom of the tank. They're half inch holes. And this bottom nipple here, you're going to have to cut it. Like he's showing here, 
slipped it in there. Let's see. Yeah, you can see how I cut that part off. The top part of the nipple. And then you're going to want to run your hose from the top of the pump into that bottom hole. And you can fill the tank about halfway full so you can bleed the air out of the system. Next, you're going to fill the tank up a little bit once you get it all hooked up. You're going to fill it about halfway full and then take this nut out here out of the top of the pump and try to push the air bubbles through the hose if you can that'll help it go by quicker but you're gonna just leave that open until oil starts coming out and then your whole pump is bleeded